love all kinds of art and this mural I absolutely love. It's vibrant, it's colourful and it has a sea turtle. And it really lifts your spirit, whether it's a sunny day or a rainy day, whenever you pass it, it, it just really lifts your spirit. It's by the Pangaseed Foundation and they are a non-profit. They describe themselves as an international movement empowering individuals to create meaningful environmental change for oceans. So the Pangaseed Foundation, they have a public art program called Sea Walls. And Sea Walls brings the oceans into the streets educating and inspiring individuals and communities through artivism. Now, Pankasi Foundation, they collaborate with internationally renowned artists to produce large-scale public murals and installations. So that's what you can see right here. This mural is by an artist called Jason Botkin and there are two other murals that is part of the Pankasi Foundation Sea Walls and there's another mural of Kirana James Boulevard and you'll find another one of the Granite's Main Road um, and I will be visiting the other two in this vlog. So Jason Botkin, his mural depicts the need for leatherback turtle conservation and he says on his Instagram the leatherback is a powerful symbol of change and the decline of ocean health is not just a small island problem. Together via international collaborations through artivism, we can help save our seas. If you hashtag artivism, hashtag sea walls you will see all the artwork that is done by panga seed um, if you put the hashtag into Instagram you'll see all their artwork and it's absolutely outstanding the reason why this mural is here in Grenada is because Panga Seed Foundation collaborated with the Grenada body called Blue Network. The Blue Network is a partnership between the government of Grenada, the Netherlands and the United Nations. Afternoon. Afternoon. Grenada is one of the world's first countries to develop a vision for an economy based on blue growth. And in 2016 in Grenada there was a Blue Week an event which brought together governments, international organizations and other stakeholders in an effort to advance the blue growth agenda and promote investment in the blue economy. So this mural is called The Coral Gardener and it's by an artist called Sinza, C-I-N-Z-A-H. And the woman represented in this mural is wrapped in the Grenadian national colours. She dies through a barren bleached coral seascape while planting coral, bringing life and vitality to the seas and projecting a positive future for the people and oceans of this island nation. So that is what the um, artist was depicting. I got that information from his Instagram.
so this mural is called rise above plastic as you can read over there rise above plastic and it's by aaron glasson and this painting depicts and this is what i got from his instagram he says that the painting depicts a local woman confronting the issue of plastic pollution in grenada to the left she emerges from the ocean collecting discarded plastics a bottle a styrofoam container and a plastic fork levitates from her hands to the right she holds an image of grenada empowered she realizes that she has the power to positively affect her country that the health of the environment could effectively be in her hands my vlog please subscribe and I'll see you soon